It begins with the news playing in the background as Arthur Fleck, a struggling clown, applies his makeup. He works as a clown performing at events and advertising for businesses in Gotham City, a place brimming with decay and despair. Arthur forms a smile on his mouth with his fingers and then a sad face as a tear rolls down. Arthur is spinning a sign for a store on the street, and some kids take his sign and run away, and he tries to chase them. They hit him with a sign, breaking it, and then start whacking him. Arthur has a distinct laugh, a nervous condition that causes him to laugh uncontrollably at inappropriate moments. Arthur goes to his psychologist who asks him how he's feeling and if he got his journal. He shows his journal to her and tells her that he's written all his thoughts there and also jokes as he plans to become a professional stand-up comedian. He is open about his struggles, but she seems uninterested. She asks him about a line he written in his journal stating, I hope my death makes more sense than my life. He just laughs. She asks him if it feels better for him to talk to someone. He says he felt better when he was locked up in the hospital. He asks her to increase his medication as he just doesn't want to feel so bad anymore. But she says that he is taking seven different types of medicines, which is enough. On a bus, he tries to make a kid laugh, but the mother tells him to stop troubling her kid. He then starts laughing uncontrollably. The mother takes offense, but he hands her a card explaining his laughing condition. Arthur checks the mail and returns home where he lives with his mother, Penny Fleck. His mother asks him if there's a letter from Thomas Wayne. Arthur says no, as Wayne is a busy man who is running for mayor, but Penny says that she has been working for him for a long time. The least he can do is reply to her letter. He serves his mother who tells him to eat, but he doesn't, and they watch the Murray Franklin show together. Arthur idolizes Murray and dreams about going on the show, meeting Murray and exchanging a few words with him, where Murray would say that he would do anything for a son like him. At work, a friend named Randall asks him if he's okay because he heard that he was beaten up. Arthur says it was just a couple of kids, but Randall is scared for him and hands him a gun to protect himself. Arthur gets called into the boss's office. The boss is pissed about another complaint against Arthur, saying that he disappeared during his job and didn't return the sign. Arthur tells him that he was jumped for the sign. The boss does not believe it and asks him to return the sign or the money will be cut from his paycheck. Frustrated Arthur lets lose by hitting dumpsters. In his building, a girl named Sophie enters the lift with him. He tries to make her laugh, but couldn't. While he's giving his mother a bath, he asks her why does she think that Wayne will help them, but she repeats the same thing saying that he is a nice man and he won't feel good when he sees the condition they are living in right now. He tells her the money will come soon as he's going to start stand-up comedy, but she tells him that he's not funny. Arthur stalks Sophie as she is at her child's school. He goes to a stand-up comedy and tries to take notes, where he writes down mental illness as a topic to joke about. When he is home, Sophie goes to his place and asks him if he was stalking her. He agrees hesitantly and cracks a joke. She tells him he's funny. He says he's doing a stand-up comedy and asks her to come. She agrees. Arthur is performing in a children's hospital, but suddenly when he's dancing around, a gun falls from his outfit. Later, his boss calls him and fires him, saying Randall told him that he wanted to buy a gun from him. One night, while riding the subway, Arthur sees three men harassing a woman. He starts laughing uncontrollably, and they turn to him after the girl walks away. Beat him up horribly, Arthur pulls out his gun and shoots the two men. The third man tries to run away, but Arthur follows him and shoots him. Realizing what he's done, he runs to his building. When he is in his building alone, there is a moment where he finds himself and he goes to Sophie's house and kisses her. Next day at work, everyone talks about the murders by a mass clown. A man asks him, why did he take a gun to the children's hospital? He says they should ask Randall because it's his gun and tells Randall not to talk shit and leaves. At home, as he's watching the news, Wayne is being interviewed. He's asked about the subway murders. He says only a coward could do something so cold-blooded and hide behind a mask. Someone who is envious of the fortunate. Those who have made something of themselves will always look at the others who haven't as clowns. Arthur laughs. Arthur goes to his psychologist and is telling her about how he is suddenly feeling seen. She interrupts him saying she has bad news. But he says that she never listens to him and she asks him the same questions every week. She tells him that the government has cut funding for the social service.
Their office will be shut from next week, and this is the last time they are meeting. Arthur asks her where can he get his medication from? She apologizes, saying that they don't care about people like him, nor her. He goes to a nightclub where he attempts stand-up comedy again. He begins to laugh uncontrollably, but he is unsettlingly honest, revealing his pain rather than crafting jokes. While the audience is unsure how to respond, Arthur feels a surge of confidence. After the show, as Arthur is looking at a picture of the clown on a newspaper, Sophie comes to him and says the clown who did that is a hero. There are three less pricks in the city, many more to go. He sees a person with a clown mask and he smiles. When he returns home, his mother tells him to post a letter she has written for Wayne. When she goes to her room, he reads it. It says that she is going to die soon. She has sent him many letters before and loves him a lot, but their love has only caused them pain. She says that your son and I need your help implying that Arthur is his son. Shocked, Arthur storms to his mother demanding for answers. She says he was a good man, but they couldn't be together because of their parents. She couldn't tell anyone because he made her sign some papers. Arthur goes to meet Wayne at his estate, but sees his son outside and begins to show him some tricks. Arthur and little Bruce exchange introductions, and Arthur tries to make him laugh physically by holding his fingers on his mouth. A man tells Bruce to get away and asks Arthur why he's there. Arthur says he's there to meet Wayne. He is Penny's son who used to work there years ago. He whispers to the man that he knows about Penny and Wayne, and that Wayne is his father. The man tells Arthur that his mother is delusional and tells him to get out of there. But Arthur holds him by the collar and almost chokes him, but runs away. When Arthur gets home, his mother is being escorted into an ambulance by paramedics. As he's waiting at the hospital, some police come to question him and tell him that his mother started hyperventilating when they want to ask her a few questions. Arthur asks them if they did this to her, but they say no. They have some questions for Arthur about the subway murders. They ask him about the gun he took to the children's hospital. He says it's a prop. They ask him about his laughing condition, if that also is an act, but he just walks out. He watches Murray's show at the hospital, and Murray plays a clip of him at the stand-up and makes fun of him. As Arthur is watching the news, he sees many people protesting against Wayne wearing clown masks. The people were not happy with him calling them clowns, but he says that he's their only hope. Wayne is later supposed to attend a benefit. Arthur joins the protest against Wayne and then sneaks into the benefit wearing a butler's outfit. Arthur meets Wayne in the washroom and tells him that he is his dad and that he is Penny's son. Wayne realizes that he is the man who came to his estate the other day. He tells him that his mother was insane and she adopted him when she worked there and was sent to a mental hospital. Arthur loses it and starts screaming at him, saying that he doesn't want anything, just some decency as everyone is just rude to him. Wayne punches him in the face and tells him to stay away from his kid. Arthur gets a call from Murray inviting him on his show. Arthur goes to the mental hospital to dig out some documents. He asks the keeper if all the people there are criminals. He says some are criminals, some crazy, and some just don't have anywhere else to go. He finds that his mother, who was diagnosed with delusion, narcissistic behavior, and was a danger to her own son. He takes the files and runs away. He reads about how his mother let him get abused by her boyfriends. Cutouts of articles of her, allowing her child's abuse were filed. Arthur couldn't do anything but laugh at his misery. Arthur goes to Sophie's apartment. She is shocked that he is there and tells him to leave, implying that all that he thought about her was only in his head. Arthur kills his mother in the hospital by choking her with the pillow. He meticulously rehearses for his appearance on the Murray show. He dyes his hair green and paints his face. Randall and Gary get there with booze to check up on Arthur, as they heard his mother passed. Randall tells Arthur that the cops have been asking questions, so he just wants their stories to align. Arthur kills Randall in a fit of rage, but he lets Gary go, saying he was one of the few people who was nice to him. He paints his face with the signature makeup of a clown. Arthur dances in a dimly lit stairwell as he's leaving to be on the show. Suddenly, police call him from behind and say they need to talk to him. He tries to run away and enters a subway. The cops manage to get on the train, but everyone is wearing clown masks and they can't find him. A fight breaks and a cop accidentally shoots a person. The people are enraged and they thrash the cop. Arthur walks away, smiling. Before the show, 
Murray comes to meet Arthur and explains some rules to him. Arthur asks him to introduce him as the Joker and not his real name, as he called him that on his show before. Murray plays Arthur's clip on the show again and makes fun of him. Arthur has a grand entrance to the show. Arthur confesses that he killed the three men on the subway. The revelation is chilling, and the studio audience reacts with horror. Murray, caught off guard, tries to defuse the situation, but Arthur continues saying that they always decide what's right and wrong, what's funny, what's not. But comedy is subjective. Arthur says everyone is just crying about the three guys because of Wayne, and no one would care about him if he was dying on the street. He shoots Murray on live television, stating that he only invited him on the show to make fun of him, and he's a bad person. Gotham erupts into chaos. The news of Murray's shooting is spread on all news stations. Protests break out, with citizens wearing clown masks as symbols of rebellion. Arthur has become an anti-hero for those who feel marginalized. As he's in a police car, he smiles and watches the chaos with a sense of satisfaction and liberation. But suddenly an ambulance driven by a clown crashes into his police car. He is unconscious, so the masked clowns bring him out and place him on the car. Wayne is rushing in the city with his family, and a masked clown sees him and starts following him. The clown shoots Wayne and his wife as Bruce looks on. Arthur wakes up and dances to cherish the moment as people cheer for him. Arthur ends up in a mental institution, laughing uncontrollably. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to watch many more such cool recaps. Comment below if y'all want to watch the second Joker movie. And hit the bell icon too. Bye.